In our everyday world, reality feels reassuringly local. You push a chair, and the chair moves. A ball rolls only after your hand releases it. Causes and effects are tied together by space and time, with no action at a distance. Even at cosmic scales, when stars tug on planets or galaxies distort one another with gravity, the influence spreads locally, carried by fields and waves that travel no faster than light. Locality is such a fundamental intuition that it underpins our sense of causality itself. How could anything else possibly make sense? And yet, at the quantum scale, experiments with entangled particles defy this rule. Two particles can be linked in such a way that measuring one immediately determines the state of the other, no matter how far apart they are. Albert Einstein famously called this spooky action at a distance because it seemed impossible that a change here could be mirrored instantly there without something traveling in between. Decades of experiments, including precise tests closing loopholes, have confirmed that entanglement is real, correlations appear instantaneously across distance. How can the universe allow such non-local behavior when everything else we know insists on locality? One subtlety is that entanglement does not let us send signals faster than light. You cannot use it to send a message to a friend across the galaxy instantly. What it does mean is that nature itself is fundamentally correlated in a way that cannot be explained by local hidden variables. When you measure one particle, the outcomes are not predetermined separately. They are shared across the system as a whole. It is as if the two particles are not truly separate objects, but parts of a single non-local reality stretched across space. Doesn't this challenge the very notion of separateness? A lesser known fact is that entanglement has already been harnessed in technology. Quantum cryptography uses it to create secure communication channels, and quantum computers rely on it to perform operations beyond the reach of classical machines. What once seemed a philosophical oddity is now a practical tool. But the deeper question remains unanswered. Does non-locality mean space-time itself is not the ultimate fabric of reality, but emerges from deeper connections? Hmm. <laughs> Some physicists even speculate that space-time geometry may be woven out of entanglement, making locality a large-scale illusion. The paradox is stark. Locality governs the macroscopic world we live in, yet at the deepest level of matter, non-locality rules. Both cannot be dismissed, and both are real. So how can they coexist? Perhaps locality is an approximation, emerging when quantum correlations average out at larger scales, much like how a smooth surface hides the grain of wood. But this leads to a profound question. If reality is truly non-local at its core, are we wrong to think of the universe as a collection of separate objects at all? Could it be that everything is, in some sense, one in daily life? Causes and effects are local. Actions influence nearby objects through direct contact or signals traveling at finite speed. Push a chair and it moves, drop a stone and it falls. Physics at this scale is consistent with the principle that nothing travels faster than light. Locality feels intuitive because interactions involve forces like friction, gravity, and electromagnetism acting across visible or measurable distances. Our senses confirm this order of cause and effect. Locality seems to be the bedrock of reality as we experience it. A ball only rolls when your hand touches it, or the wind pushes it. Locality is like conversations. You hear words only when someone nearby speaks to you. Cosmic structures also follow locality. Galaxies interact through gravity. Light travels finite distances, and signals from stars take years to reach us. Relativity reinforces that no information can exceed the speed of light. 
This makes cause and effect predictable across cosmic distances. Even black holes obey this rule, with their event horizons marking the ultimate limit of locality. Astronomers rely on this framework to map cosmic events. The universe at large seems safely local. Light from the Andromeda galaxy takes over two million years to reach us, so we see it as it was in the past. It is like reading an old letter. You only learn what happened long ago. Never instantly. At quantum scales, the principle of locality appears to break down. Entangled particles share correlated states no matter how far apart they are. Measuring one particle instantly defines the state of the other, even across light years. This effect seems to transmit information faster than light, defying relativity. Yet no usable signal can actually be sent this way, keeping relativity intact. The mystery is how entanglement correlations emerge without local interaction. Two entangled photons created in a lab remain correlated even if one is sent to the moon and the other stays on Earth. It is like rolling two dice in different rooms and always finding their numbers perfectly matched. Einstein resisted non-local interpretations, calling entanglement spooky action at a distance. He believed hidden variables might restore locality by explaining correlations through unseen causes. However, Bell's theorem and experiments showed that no local hidden variables can explain entanglement. This means either locality or realism must be abandoned. Physics is forced to accept that the world may be non-local in a fundamental way. The paradox unsettles the foundations of causality. Bell test experiments show violations of inequalities that local hidden variable theories cannot reproduce. It is like realizing two synchronized clocks are not secretly wound the same way. They just tick in perfect harmony no matter what. Quantum field theory still enforces locality in how fields interact. Particles influence each other through field excitations that propagate at finite speeds. Yet entanglement correlations emerge within this framework, as though encoded into the shared quantum state. Local signals are preserved, but global correlations transcend distance. This dual picture makes entanglement consistent with relativity, yet non-local in effect. Local physics and non-local states coexist uneasily. Quantum electrodynamics describes photons propagating locally, but entanglement correlations extend instantly across space. It is like playing a duet where each musician hears only their notes locally, yet the harmony exists across the stage instantly. Modern experiments confirm quantum non-locality beyond doubt. Entangled particles violate Bell's inequalities even when detectors are separated by kilometers. Closing loopholes has strengthened the case that entanglement is real and not due to hidden causes. Some tests have placed detectors on satellites, extending entanglement over thousands of kilometers. Results consistently support non-local correlation. Non-locality has become an empirical fact, not just a theory. In 2017, Chinese scientists used satellites to entangle photons across 1,000 200 kilometers between Earth stations. It is like whispering in Beijing and having someone in Vienna instantly nod in response without hearing the sound. Ackled locality challenges classical notions of space, causality, and realism. If entangled particles are connected beyond locality, then separateness itself may be an illusion. Reality might be fundamentally holistic, with parts inseparably tied together. This raises questions about whether space-time is primary or emergent. Perhaps entanglement reflects a deeper layer of order beyond geometry. The paradox lies in reconciling locality with this deeper interconnectedness. Quantum computing relies on entangled states to perform tasks that classical systems cannot. It is like finding that every page of a book changes together when you turn one page, showing the story is one indivisible whole. 
Some theories attempt to reconcile locality and non-locality. Interpretations, like many worlds, avoid faster-than-light influence by suggesting all outcomes exist simultaneously. Others propose space-time itself is emergent from entanglement, making non-locality the true foundation. Quantum information theory explores entanglement as a resource rather than a violation. Still, no consensus exists on how to unify these views. The paradox drives new approaches to fundamental physics. The holographic principle suggests space-time geometry may emerge from networks of entangled quantum states. It is like realizing the 2D shadow of a 3D object is just a projection of something deeper. At human and cosmic scales, reality is local. Causes and effects unfold step by step in space and time. At quantum scales, entangled particles exhibit non-local behavior, ignoring distance and acting as one system. Both realities coexist in the same universe, yet they seem irreconcilable. This paradox questions whether locality is fundamental or an emergent illusion. Perhaps non-locality is the deeper truth, and locality is just the approximation we experience. The mystery of how the two realities fit together remains unsolved. Physics accepts both relativity and quantum mechanics, but their clash over locality is why a theory of quantum gravity is still missing. It is like living in a city that appears to follow one set of laws by day and a completely different set by night. Yet both must be true.